when do you start doing more shit? Like after that, that first song. Yeah, like, it's when always do you start, it's like, to keep going. Load me back up, man. I like to hear it back to back, man. Once we locked in, we locked in. It's a, like a studio session is paid for. So we're going to work these hours. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't got no time to rest, man. We got to go and lock these yeah, hours out the hours. Load it back up. Let's finish this song. Load it back up. Let's do another one. You know what I mean? Like, when studio session, man, time to work, man. You know what I mean? It'd be, you know, it'd be a lot of extra pedestrians in there, but it'd be time to work once you spend your money, man. Right. Because at this point, how many, how many mixtapes do you have? I'm more than five. Hold on, I'm about to look this up. So you got the season going. Money, money, pounds, and ammunition. What? Running around the lobby, <laughs> lobby runners, Blue M and M, World War Three D, Felix Brothers, Blue M and M Volume Two, Money MPA Two Volume Two, MPA Volume Three, Longway Sinatra. So you got a lot of shit. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You got ten projects. Yeah, we got a lot more to go, man. They just, I mean, shit, if I would have had like a better situation, or, or me putting my music out, you know what I mean? Like, or, or, or I drop more. Okay, so so let's talk about that because you was, you know, you're working on music, but you were actually the last artist that Gucci signed before he got locked up, right? Wrong. Wrong. Okay. Correct me. No, we haven't. We, we like, we, I was the last artist that we were thinking about going through with that. You know what I mean? Like, like right now, you know, we still, we still talking about being, you know what I mean? Me and my man, we forever together, man. Like, that's my buddy, man. That's my brother forever. Like, well, no matter whatever side of the fence I go with, you know what I mean? We're going to forever be 1017 or MPA. You know what I mean? Like, but no, okay. I'm not signed to no one right now. Okay, so you, you didn't sign to nobody. Okay, because that, that's that's interesting. Because you, I mean, but you know what I'm talking about. People talk about how you signed to Gucci. That's my brother. Yeah, yeah, we signed each other forever. That's what's <laughs> up. Okay, so how'd you end up meeting Gucci? Huh? How'd you end up meeting Gucci? How did I meet Gucci? Yeah. I've been knowing bro for a long time before before before. You know what I mean? Before we both even thought about we were going to go away. You know, he he been cracking. But I've right. been knowing him before he was cracking right then and there. We've been knowing each other for a long time, man. From okay. Me. But how did you guys actually hook up and start doing music? Um, uh, he he heard I was he heard I was I had been going in and out the studio to another friend. And he had sent for me, like, man, tell Long to pull up on me. I pulled up on him, like, man, I heard you had some music going on. You know what I mean? I'm like, shit, you know. I ain't got nothing going on. The boy got something going on. You know, I'm talking about thug and duke and wicked. You know, that's how I started, though, you know? And he was like, shit, I'm just signing you regardless. You know what I mean? I'm going to sign you regardless, but you're going to sign them. You can't sign regardless, just call. You know what I mean? That's how I well, well, walk. If you really think about it, Gucci's one of the greatest A&Rs ever. Yeah, yeah. Like, he made me literally go on the stage and perform James Bond. I ain't know a damn word to it. Like, you just had something stage and perform. Like, you can go in the booth and rap all day long. Get up there and rap. Let me see what you can do in front of them. Yeah, that was brother. Okay. Yeah. He made another person out of him. Mm. Yeah, I mean, if you look at all the people that, that Gucci has been... Hands you know, on, was, yeah, he the man. Was, ...was fucking with, psh, Yeah, he the man. It's crazy. Yeah, he started... Yeah. He, 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 if he put some shit together now, he started liking on anything, you can believe it's going to be the one. Okay, so you and Gucci are working on music. Y'all talking about signing, but, but nothing happens. Yeah. And then, then Gucci gets locked up. I'm the big Gucci man then. Who gonna run to? <laughs> you know what I mean? I right, shit, big bro, you gotta stand up, big bro. What like what do we do now? We we we, we sit down, we get our head together, we think. Big bro gone, what big bro want us to do? Go on, on to the top, man. That's what we did. Well, while Gucci was gone, uh yeah. he put out a project called the Felix Brothers. That's probably you know, to be honest, that probably be some shit we probably been had, man. Okay, so Gucci, from what I understand, Gucci puts out projects without necessarily telling everyone he putting out the project. I, I look at it as it was more publicity for us and him too. At the same time, he kept all the relevant shit. We we didn't know what to do with. Right. So so the Felix brothers is you, Gucci, and Young Dolph. Somewhat, yeah. Okay. Why why the name the Felix brothers? I mean, shit. 
It's a good name. It's a good name. I'm I'm about to look this shit up. (laughs) (laughs) I I, I know there's some sort of reference. There's some sort of reference in this that you're not not telling me. All right, hold on. It's a good name, man. When I I put in Phoenix (laughs) Felix Brothers, the first thing that come up is the Tijuana Cartel. (laughs) (laughs) That's the first thing that come up. Hold on, hold on. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, now now I got it. All right, okay, so it's a it's three. allegedly a reference to that. Nah, just three guys <laughs> and three of us. Just three guys. <laughs> yeah, you're right, because you 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 not you not a street guy. You're just a regular rapper. That's it, my boy. Those That's it. <laughs> okay, so so you put you're putting out these projects. Well, Gucci putting out these projects while he was locked up. Were you were you talking to Gucci while he was in jail? Somewhat. I, got, I kept my connections. Okay. Yeah. And then Gucci came out and it was just bananas. As we thought, right? You thought the same thing? Yeah. I thought the same thing. We both thought we were right. Yeah, bananas. Well, no, no Gucci for a while. What was it like to see the new Gucci come out? Because number one, he's skinny. He don't, he don't do drugs. He don't drink. I mean, see, a chain man, you know, a chain. Everybody, everybody is, is due for a chain. I mean, bro, okay. bro, bro, chain. See, I mean, ain't no sense of coming out. What sense that make to go do the time that you, you know, come out for just going to, from for this and come back out the same person? It don't make no sense. And Absolutely. Nah, I mean, yeah, he's trying to better yourself. Yeah, he better this I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, I mean, he's been dropping project after project. Yeah, I mean, that is, you know, who, that is same work ethic. That is same work ethic, you know what I mean? Same work method, same everything. Just, you know, it just, now it's doing it with a clear mind. Now I can think, now I know what's going on, you know what I mean? Now this, 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 that, just what I'm supposed to have been doing. But the same work situation going on. Well, I remember I interviewed uh, Zaytoven recently. Yeah. And uh, I asked him whether... Gucci man is the, the boogeyman of hip hop. He is like the boogeyman. It's, it's certain things you can't say around him or you can't, you know, be a certain way with this guy or he gonna put it in check and it's gonna make you feel like, man, did he just do that or he just say that? So, you know, and he was intimidating, you know, he's an intimidating guy, so. Yeah, because he's what, like 6'4 six, six, or something yeah, like that? Yeah, yeah. And it's not just his height and it's not just his size, it's his aura. If you be around him, you can just feel it. I mean, yeah, it ain't, yeah, it ain't somebody, no, not, 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 not the boogie man that scan folks off and the rah rah. Like the other energy, yeah, you know, the boogie man got to have a lot of energy, man, to go around and get the skate guy. <laughs> why do you think so many people are scared of Gucci? Like, why, why does he it's have that It's in their mind, man. It's in their mind, man. You know, it's in their mind, man. You don't never know as a person, man. It's in their mind, man. This is what they always thought, man. You know, sometimes, you know, you got to always think about what you did to make the person feel that way about you or however you, what happened. You know what I mean? It always a cause and effect, my boy. You know what I mean? We, somebody did something to make the boogie man mad. <laughs> <laughs> but now, nah, though, man, you know, supposed to be scared on their own, man. That, 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 that shit be on, it, it be a mind thing. Feel you. Now, now you, you and Young Thug go way back. Now, yeah. I, I think I remember in an interview, Gucci said that you're the one who brought Young Thug to Gucci. Right. Okay. What, what, was, that, what was that meeting like and how, how did that go down? See, that was probably the best meeting of my life, man. You know what I mean? To see, to see my man, see Thug, to go, go somewhere and really show off his talent, man. You know what I mean? To be the person that he always been wanting to be. So, you know, I mean, that probably was the bad meaning of my life. It kind of changed life for everybody, to be honest with you. And then, and then when Birdman came in and started fucking with him, then yeah. it just went bananas. Mm-hmm. Go to work. Yeah. Time to go to work. Like I said, once again, that man get a chance to show a talent around people who need to see it. Yep. Um, and Young Thug has gone through the roof since then. Yeah, it's over with. I finally got his own outfit now, man. Much respect, man. You know what I'm saying? Dedicated and determined. Much respect, my boy. Much and the respect. two of you just sound real good together. Like, like when y'all when y'all work together, you could tell like the just like like the the synergy between both of y'all. Yeah, that it's gonna be another type of energy, man. Cause it's gonna it's gonna be an old. It's gonna be like it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be a whole another energy. Right? It's gonna be another vibe. Yeah, you're right. <laughs>